welcome back everybody to the Isles. We're on our Ragnarok No Rules server. Uh, it's back to survival. We had fun with Sandbox. We changed it back up to survival. It's just going to stay survival from now on. We had fun with that, but uh, we put back dinos into the store like this. So this right here is our store. I went ahead and created all this for... So when you get points, you can buy every single dino in-game that is available in-game. And I have listed them and priced them accordingly to make them pretty fair and balanced. Obviously, the stronger you want to get, the more it's going to cost, like the pew and all that. But this is our store that we have in-game that anyone can use. Anyone can buy whatever dinosaur they want at full adult and have fun with it. Okay, so let's get back to the video today. Alright, so today's video, we are going to test the damage of a Dibble. So I already know how the damage works. I've had people talk about, like, how do I know how much damage I do? You know, is is my bite force, that's my damage, uh, what's my health, how much stuff do I have? Well, so, other than the Rex and the Giga, whatever your weight is, that's your health. So I have 3,250... Yes, 3,250 health, and I do 350 newtons of damage. Now, that's not your actual damage. That's your multiplier. So, I'm going to talk about that, how that goes. I got my Utah here as Gringo. Pull this up. Yep, see, Gringo. We're going to go over. He's going to be our little test subject. Let's hop back and chat with them. All right, guys, so we're back and chat with Gringo here. So, first thing we're going to do is you got to look at your your weight and your bite force. So the multiplier or the multiplication system to figure out the damage is bite force times parentheses your weight divided by their weight and that's going to equal your damage. So a Utah has 1200 health but it only has a thousand weight. Is that correct Gringo? Yes. Okay so he has a thousand weight so first thing we're going to do is take our 3250 divided by his 1,000, which gives us 3.25. Now that's going to be multiplied by our bite force, which is 350, which gives us a 1,137 damage. So we practically one-shot him. He, ha he will survive with roughly 800 HP after I hit him once. Let's see. See, he's like super fucked up. Are you on fourth screen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's like one hit, dead. Now, I'm not calculating for bleed here. We're just going straight damage. So I just took him from 100 to like 5% health. Oh, yep. See, he just died of bleed. <laughs> so that 800 health he had left went really fast. So the Dibble does quite a bit of damage to smaller things. So the more weight you have compared to your target your multiplier is going to be higher. That's why it's such as the Spino only has a 350 bite force because its weight is so huge. Now Gringo is going to come in as our next dino and we're going to keep doing some more tests. Alright guys, now we got a Dilo. So the it Dilo is weight, is what, what's the Dilo's weight? So we're going to pull up our 325. 1,200. 1,200. So we actually get less of a multiplier with the Dilo because now we're only getting a 2.70 multiplier. So we're going to multiply that 2.70 times our 350. So we're only doing 947 hits to him. Now a Dilo only has 1,050 health? 1,050 health? So it doesn't actually have its weight. I'm, I was a little wrong on that. So the health and the weight don't vary because your weight can be different, or your health can be different than your weight. But, so, I should two-shot him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, yeah, so, he'll probably die just speed. like the Utah did with the bleeding out, but let's just end his suffering. Yeah. End his suffering now. So, yeah, we're doing <laughs> 947 damage to him per hit. Not including bleed, not including him standing there. So, the Dilo actually has more weight and a higher multiplier than the Utah does, but actually less health. So that's pretty cool. We'll come on to the next one now. All right, so now we got our Serato up here. So now we're gonna do the same multiplications. Because 325 minus, or divided by, I'm sorry. Gringo, what was your weight again? 2.25 tons. 
2.25 tons. So you don't have to do the points. Remember, we're, we're doing actual thousands. Oh, not yeah, yeah. points. So it's whatever, ignore. So whatever your point is, it's actually going to be your comma. And if there's nothing after that, you're going to put a zero. So he's actually 2,250 tons. Now the Serato, that's actually its health as well. So he equals that precisely. So that gives us a 1.4 repeating multiplier instead. We're going to take that and multiply it by 350, of course. And we get 505 damage. So it he actually takes, what, four hits? So we got 505. Let's take his 2250 and divide that by 505. It's going to take him, it's going to take us 4.45 hits. So technically five hits to kill this man straight up. Let's see. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Oh, there yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, if we could do half damage, we could have killed him with half of it. But we did a full five hits to him. So, he's actually pretty strong against us, having to take five five hits to straight up kill him. Uh, Gringo will be doing carnivores after this. So, if you want to see what carnivores can do... To herbivores, he's gonna be doing carnivores. I'm gonna be doing herbivores. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. Now we're gonna go a little lower than the Serato. This is the Carno. We kind of forgot about the Carno. It's not really yeah. that much played. So, what's your uh, what's your uh, weight again, Gringo? Uh, two point one seven. So, two thousand one hundred seventy. All right. So you heard it. There's that. So we actually do. We actually have a 1.49 multiplier to him. So we're gonna multiply that by our that. So we're gonna do 524 damage to him per hit. And the Carnos have pretty sure the same health. But let's test this. So if he has that, we should hit him four times and he should die. One, two, three, and. Four. Nope, oh, no, oh, he died. died. He died straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of lag. But there it is. Those four hits killed him straight up. So the aloe. Aloe is kind of a bit of a beast. We're pretty even here. So what's your uh, weight? My weight is... 2,800. 2,800. 2.8 tons. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, so remember, the bigger they are, the less damage you're going to be doing to them. So... I still out damage, I still outweigh him, so I'm actually getting a full multiplier, but it's only a 1.16 multiplier times our 350, which is only 400 damage, which so far is the lowest. So I'm only doing 406 per hit. And if, how much health did you say you have, or what was your weight? Uh, 2.8 tons, so 2,800. And we're gonna do that by 406. That's going to be 6.89 hits. we got to actually hit him seven times to straight up kill him. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep. There it is. <laughs> so it took all seven hits. That's that's a lot of hits for an aloe, especially yeah. since it can bite you back. And I'm pretty sure the aloes actually do more bleed than we do. So it's just going to get worse from here on, guys. Alright guys, we're moving on. We have the Shuko here. So this one. Ooh, the Shuko is like you're a little stronger than you. It should be like you're... Like this should be the rivalry right here. Shuko and a Dibble. So what's what's your weight, Gringo? Um, 3.6 tons, so 3,600. There it is. So we actually do yeah. negative damage to him. So we have a multiplier of 0.9. So we're going to take our 0.9, multiply it by our 350. We're doing 315 a hit to him. That's it, 315. <laughs> and he has 2800, you said? Uh, 3600. <laughs> oh, 3600. My bad. Yeah. And we're going <laughs> to divide that by our. Fuck. Now I forgot. What did I say, Gringo, for damage? 306? Yeah. 306. I think, I think that's right. <laughs> I forgot already. I'm bad with math. Well, I'm good with math. I just... I brain dump really quick. So it's going to take us 11.76 hits. So, 12 hits. 
Go see right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, last one, twelve. There it is. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, our math was right. So yeah, it takes twelve straight up hits to kill a Shuko. That's a fuck time. For just a mid tier. So Shuko's are pretty strong against Dibbles. So if you're a Dibble, be careful for Shuko's. Because they're gonna hurt. Alright, we're moving they on. They gotta you. <laughs> Alright, guys, now we're moving on to the big the big apex. We got a Giga here. Homicide's our Giga here. He's gonna be our test subject. So, Homicide, tell me what your weight is. Uh, 6.45 tons. 645. So he has 6,450 tons. Now his HP is actually only 6,000. He does not have a full weight unlike the Rex. They're swapped. So the Giga weighs more but has less health. The Rex weighs less but has more health. So he has that much tons. We're going to divide it by, or we're going to take ours and divide it by his, which gives us a 0.5 we're actually doing half damage to a Giga. So, if we multiply by 350, we're doing 176 per hit. And if he has 6,000 health, so 6,000 divided by 176, it's going to take us 34 hits to kill this man. So, <laughs> let's start hitting this man. It's going to take us quite a bit. He actually, it might take us 33 hits because of bleed, because how long we're going to sit here. So I'm not going to count this time. I'm going to put a little... I'm going to just kind of fast forward it. So let's get through this. <laughs> I love how he's just looking around. Just chilling. <laughs> so we're at 31. 32. 32. So he took quite a bit of damage from Bleed. Because he was standing there. As you saw with the Utah and the Dilo. You can lose 800 health of bleeding standing there quick. So it took us 32 hits straight up due to the fact he bled to death by the time we had our last two. So he actually took, what is that, 300, 300 health, three, 400 health of damage to bleed just standing there alone. So yeah, that's a that's a lot of damage from bleeding. Make sure you don't be standing while bleeding. It's gonna hurt. Sit down. All right, we're gonna move on to the final, the final apex. All right, guys, now we got the Rex. Now this guy is a bitch for a Dibble. He'll like two shots you. I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll see in uh, whenever Gringo covers uh, carnivores. But so we're gonna take our measly uh, 3250 weight divided by this guy's weight. What's your weight, Gringo? My weight is. 5.8 tons, so 5,800. 5,800. So yeah, with yeah. this one, we're also doing about half. But see, the Rex only has 5,800 tons weight, but it has, what is it, 6,500 health? He actually has a shit ton of health. So you got to be careful with Rexes. They're, their weight may not be so high, but that's also because they're 1,200 damage multiplier, as you can see it multiplied with their weight it would be ridiculous but so this guy is only taking half damage as well 5.6 damage times our 350 we're only doing 196 damage to him so if we take his what's what did i say 6500 so 6500 minus 196 minus 196 no, not minus. Divided. I'm, <laughs> I'm dumb. 6,800. No, 6,500 divided by 196. It's going to take us 33 hits. So, about the same, <laughs> actually. That's kind of surprising for the Giga, as you can see Homicide over there eating his own Giga. So, let's get <laughs> to hitting 33 times. So, if, like last time, we missed two. So, right when we get to 31, Gringo should prop, probably plop dead. Let's get to swinging. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two. 
32. Ooh. So he actually survived longer than the Giga did, but that's because of that whole 500 health. So that 500 that the Giga bled out from, to took two less hits, the Rex had it to spare. So that, guys, is how powerful the Dibble is. So you can see, pretty strong. Besides Apex, it's no, no, you know, you stay away from the Giga. You stay away from no. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, stay away from Gigas, stay away from Rexes. Shukas, if you're smart, you can fight them. You just have to be careful. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, I'll post more. We're going to go through all the herbivores. And if you like this, go to Gringo's channel as well. He's going to be doing all the carnivores. So I'll see you guys in the next one.